Hello God's people. Welcome to The One. Today, we're embarking on a captivating journey through Daniel's prophecy of 70 weeks to discover its profound connection to the arrival of the Messiah. Join us as we unravel the mysteries of biblical prophecy and find out the duration of three and a half years of Jesus' ministry on earth. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more thought-provoking content. Without further ado, let's get started. How Daniel's Prophecy Foretells the Messiah's Arrival The prophet Daniel lived more than 500 years before the birth of Jesus. Nevertheless, Jehovah revealed to Daniel information that would make it possible to pinpoint the time when Jesus would be anointed, or appointed, as the Messiah, or Christ. Daniel was told, you should know and understand that from the issuing of the word to restore and to rebuild Jerusalem until Messiah the leader, there will be seven weeks, also sixty-two weeks. To determine the time of the Messiah's arrival, first we need to learn the starting point of the period leading to the Messiah. According to the prophecy, it is, from the issuing of the word to restore and to rebuild Jerusalem. When did this, issuing of the word, take place? According to the Bible writer Nehemiah, the word to rebuild the walls around Jerusalem was issued in the 20th year of King Artaxerxes. Historians confirm that the year 474 BCE was Artaxerxes' first full year as ruler. Therefore, the 20th year of his rule was 455 BCE. Now we have the starting point for Daniel's messianic prophecy, that is, 455 BCE. Daniel indicates how long the time period leading to the arrival of Messiah the leader would last. The prophecy mentions seven weeks, also 62 weeks, a total of 69 weeks. How long is this period of time? Several Bible translations note that these are not weeks of seven days, but weeks of years. That is, each week represents seven years. This concept of weeks of years, or seven-year units, was familiar to Jews of ancient times. For instance, they observed a Sabbath year every seventh year. Therefore, the prophetic 69 weeks amount to 69 units of seven years each, or a total of 483 years. Now all we must do is count. If we count from for 55 BC, a period of 483 years takes us to the year 29 CE. That was exactly the year when Jesus was baptized and became the Messiah. From for 55 BCE to 1 BCE is 454 years. From 1 BCE to 1 CE is 1 year, there was no zero year. And from 1 CE to 29 CE is 28 years. Adding these three figures gives us the total of 483 years. Jesus was cut off in death in 33 CE, during the 70th week of years. Is that not a remarkable fulfillment of Bible prophecy? As we've explored the intricacies of Daniel's prophecy, it's fascinating to note that Jesus' death occurred during the 70th week, precisely in the middle of that significant period. Considering that each week represents seven years, and Jesus' death is positioned at the midpoint, we can deduce that the duration of his ministry aligns with three and a half years, remarkable fulfillment of Bible prophecy. This insight adds depth to our understanding of the timeline foretold by Daniel. Thank you for joining me on this journey through Daniel's prophecy and its connection to the arrival of the Messiah. Now, I'm eager to hear your thoughts. Do you have another interpretation or a unique perspective on this prophecy? Share it in the comments below, and let's continue this conversation. Remember, diverse viewpoints enrich our understanding. Shalom. If you enjoyed this content, please subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, leave your comments below and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching, God bless.